we've talked about a lot of names, you know, the most influential people in in your world. I'm I'm more of an observer to to be completely honest, but I find it interesting. Um on one hand, we seem to have a bunch of misfits, right? You know, Craig and <laughs> and, and Calvin and and well, was Christian, you know, a bunch of British people were very yeah. Like you know, let, let, let's just be honest. Like, like, like crazy, arguably sketchy, but also very interesting backgrounds. Like for me, as a just a podcaster, it's something that I'm like fascinated and interested by, just because of the story. It's so fascinating. And then on the other hand, you have billionaires, you have world leaders, you have the most you know richest people in the world, kind of calling out these these rebels as as, as frauds, as you know, as liars, as cheats. And then you have a case coming up in a couple of weeks, which could, you know, it almost seems like, I mean, just from a, an outside perspective, Kurt, it almost seems like this could be a really, really, really big, you know, deciding factor on in, in, in terms of if if this gets, if Craig gets, you know, recognised as, as I mean, even if he he did sign, then I, I still believe there's, there's people on the other side that would say, no, look, he, you know, he, he faked the signing or, or whatever, right? You know, it's yep. people people believe what they believe. It's like Republicans, Democrats, you know, it's hard to get people to switch sides a lot of the time, right? Yep. Sure. Kind of what, what this is. But, but you know, as, as, a, as an observer looking at this, it almost seems like if he, if he is Satoshi, Craig could go into that room, finally prove it. The whole world would go, Oh my God, you know, I, and you, you said he's got his reasons perhaps not for doing that. Okay. I, I, I don't know. Right. And then on the other side, it seems like if he doesn't get, if he doesn't win this thing, I, I, I feel, I know there's other cases, there's other things happening, but you know, may, maybe that's that, that, you know, the community is kind of lost at that point, perhaps. I don't know. What, what, what's your take? What, what's your prediction? What's going to happen? Is there anything Craig could do to, you know, for you to not believe his his story? For me, there's a I think there's a big difference between like the BSV stuff, big block Bitcoin, and and Craig. Um, like Craig's story is fascinating because it's just an incredible story. It would make an incredible movie. Um, you know, even just the stuff we know is just crazy. And and I'm intrigued by the story. That's actually kind of what's gotten me into all of this is. It was Bitcoin, it was the big blocks, it was the Bitcoin civil war and all this stuff. But like you meet Craig and you start to learn this story and it's like, man, like what a what a crazy thing. And so there will be part of me like when that goes away and it'll go away for some reason eventually, either he wins or he loses or like, you know, it just stops being a thing, you know, whatever. But but I really hope it ends in a way that is satisfying because it feels like we've been part of a seven or eight year setup of just this incredible thing. So, I mean, if it ends well, it's going to be the, the, the best story ever to, to have been part of, but um, how will it go? You know, I, I, I don't know. Ultimately um, whether he wins or loses, that'll be cathartic. But then six months after that, you know, we're, we're just, we're back to work, you know, like we, we need to make the stuff work in BSV. We we've got to do our business development and our research and development and build out our infrastructure, just like everybody else. And so, um, you know, the, the sexy part of the story, that'll, that'll be great. It'll be, it'll be uh, wonderful. If we win, it'll be, it'll be a big bummer if we lose, but at the end of the day, like we still have a lot of work to do either way. Um, you know, and, th and that's the stuff that'll really matter. Like five years from now, uh, I really hope that, that we are, um, you know, have really changed the world in a lot of ways that don't have anything to do with Craig or his story or his outcomes, but like BSV made the world a better place for some, uh, you know, some objective reason that isn't debatable and, and whatever. So uh, as far as predictions go, man, I, I don't know, like it's, it's too much, it's too big. Um, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to be here for it. I, I, I care about Bitcoin either way. So, you know, win, win or lose, I'm, I'm still going to be here working on what I'm working on. Like I, I have my own businesses, my own investors in my businesses and, and all of that. Like, um, you know, I, I don't just disappear if, if Craig disappears, even I, I have my own goals and my own obligations in the space. So, okay. so you're not going to go back to mining Ethereum? No, <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool, man. Well, awesome to, awesome to speak to you and, and get your perspectives on everything that's happening. I mean, for me, I just wanted to speak because you, know, you obviously know this space 
like the back of your hand and uh, and I, I I don't so it's it's good to get everyone's point of view on 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 everything right so I can stay up to date with what's happening.